Hey guys, D Mike here, hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. We're back in the Metro Kingdom, feeling a little cranky with how Pauline treated us last time. So I'm thinking we're gonna take some of her power moons away from her city. First things first. I think I did this wrong last time. I would like to look around. So with these sheeps, of course. There's one of them looking a little weird. Yeah. That's the good old Sphinx booty. This is gonna take a hot minute. Where are you putting it? Please don't make this somewhere hard to get. Okay, right there, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, once again, we're gonna do our best to get crack a lacking on these moons. Still only really need to get the 15-ish from each area. Can you please just agree with me? Thank you. So far, so good. That's two moons in a minute, so I like that. If you like getting two moons in a minute, consider liking this video, commenting, and subscribing. All right. So I'm do a little bit of warpage here. I did some, oops. I did some uh, homework to figure out what I was missing, and I think I've got a, a more gooder idea. We need to go to the helipad? Heliport? That's a heliport. All right, so we're gonna go here. And... There is an item that if we remember... It's Pauline's birthday and blah blah blah. Oh, there's also a moon right there. How do I get there from here? I'm getting distracted. I was gonna be trying to go and figure out Pauline's gift, but then I saw this, and that is way more important to me. Where was that moon at? Uh, where is it? Hold on. One second, viewers. I literally just saw it hanging on the edge of the building, and now I don't know where it is anymore. Am I being bamboozled right now? I did see that, right? I'm not going crazy. Let me talk to this guy for a second. <laughs> we climbed up here, but it's too high. Oh. That's sad. I kind of feel bad for them. How'd you get up here, though? The same way that I did, probably? Alright. I don't know... Yeah, I definitely saw it on the edge of... I want to say it's that building, but I could be wrong. That never happens in these episodes. I don't know why it doesn't... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not happy about that. Because... Oops, I meant to do the thing. Okay. So I saw it from here, right? Didn't I? Yeah, so it's on the building with the two green things and the stuff. All right. Confirmed. I just think that maybe the draw distance of the game doesn't have it for some reason. But I think that in order to make it with a long jump, I need to be from here. Whee! So this would be... Honestly terrifying if this was actually physically possible. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's up high. Oh, no. That was the one that I remembered. I was like, oh, I'm going to need glide on to get it. And then I totally whiffed. Yeah, that sucks. All right. Well, you know what? Whoop. Still don't know how to cappy jump. I know somebody asked me that. No, I don't. Do not know how to do it. All right, so the, the, I know what the thing is that Pauline wants. It's a bag. It's not a hat. Although I don't really know if I want to give Pauline a gift after what she put us through last time. I, I kind of, you know, if I'm being honest, I kind of hate Pauline right now. So, you know, there's that. Got that going for us. I don't know if there's anything over here. Ooh, this is not... We did not hit this check mark flag. The Mayor Pauline Commemorative Park. A kinship with birds. Are you the old lady from Home Alone 2? Is that a deep cut, viewers? It really shouldn't be. You comfy in that outfit? Yeah, I don't know what the point of this is. There's a football. And a tree. With some quans. 
Who? No. Okay. We're gonna head back. I don't know what the point of this is. There might be some sort of like a sneaky kick the football through the thing move, but I really don't care about that. What do you have to say for yourself? No. I think anything and everything that Pauline does is horrible. She's ruined my life. They're dumb quiz. I spent so much time on that. Wasted so much time on that. With no reward whatsoever. And what's the point of doing things in life if you don't get a reward? You know what I'm saying? I feel so baseless. Alright, so we already did this. This was a Gigantosaurus waste of time. Alright. I know what I need to find, but I, I thought it was by the teleport pad warp thing. Maybe it's not. I'm essentially just kind of freewheeling right now. No, we already did you. I, well, I shouldn't. Probably shouldn't say it like that. We already did the race. Which we completely destroyed them. It wasn't even close. Alright, is this going to give me anything that would be useful to get that moon that's just hanging out? Oh, it does. Yes. I didn't know it, but I do now. Oh, hanging out between buildings. We're loitering. There's another moon right here. Uh, can I get to the... Wait. I don't feel like this is going to fling me far enough. Maybe it will. Okay. We're on to something, viewers. We're on to something. Maybe we got something going on. Is this the, the building where Peach was? Alright, so it looks like this... I'm nervous. Oops. What did I expect you to do there? That's a bunch of nonsense and shenanigans. I don't like that at all. Also, the frame rate of people walking from a distance. Everything just turns into a PowerPoint. Do we know what PowerPoint is, viewers? Are we tech savvy? That would be interesting, actually. I didn't address this. I never have because this is not something that I really care that much about. Nor is it really that important. Or maybe it is. I don't know. But something I think is interesting is how technology evolves and how people use it over time and how it's catered towards certain audiences. Where, as generations come and go, usually the the shtick is that people are worse with technology. But I think it really just depends. The current, I think I want to say these people would probably be in the age of like... I'll say like 16 to like 22, or maybe 14 to 22, whatever. Teenagers to young adults. Um, I do want this. Did I already get this? This feels like cheating. Am I, am, am I cheating? Oops. If that counts, well, I mean, whatever. I don't care what you think. Anyway, so, although I did hear that one of the things we need in this, somebody wants to see us in a clown suit, I think. I think that's what I saw in my notes. You'll look great in the clown hat. Yeah, thanks. Oh, so this Mario hat over here on the right kind of looks orange. The classic cap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the... I think it's like the Jumpman suit. But something I did notice... Oh, Mario. My boy, what have they done to you? What I have noticed is that a lot of technology nowadays is very much touch-based. Like a smartphone, touchscreen, etc. And one of the things that I think is really fascinating that I've heard from various people that are way smarter than me and involved with teaching today's youths is that a lot of younger people, maybe not so much like the ages that I listed already, but like maybe even younger than that, they really don't understand tactile technology. And when I say that, I mean like using a keyboard and a laptop and a mouse and stuff. If it's not a touch screen, then a lot of younger people, I don't want to say kids, because not all of them are not all of them are minors, but a lot of younger people really struggle with the concept of being able to save a document and 
put it in a file structure and whatever. Like, I'm not saying you need to be an IT wizard to do this, but it's pretty basic stuff, I think. I mean, I don't know when you learn that as a child, but, you know, there's usually like a computer class or something like that. Where you'd go and sit in front of a PC or something or a Mac or whatever your school has robust funding for that mine didn't. And from there, you get access to learning about that type of technology. Ooh, is that one of those things I haven't done yet? I get derailed so easily. d mic derailed. You could probably do an entire compilation of me just losing track of of things that I'm trying to say. Now, I want to get to the building that has the button. Because I want to do the thing on the roof. Whoop. Still probably not going to figure out where the... Oh, there's the bird! And now I'm distracted by the bird. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. Yeah, I could have done this earlier too, but I didn't. Well, here's those coins that I missed. And... Whoop. Anyway. So yeah, I've heard, like, I have friends and some family that are in education. Educating the youths. And they told me before that a lot of kids are really great with, like, touch-based tech. I shouldn't, well, kids. Some of them, yeah, we'll say in this case these are these are kids. Um, they're really good with touch-based technology. Like, they could figure out how to use a smartphone and apps and whatnot. But when it comes to, like, using a laptop, there's no dice. And it just really throws them off. Which I think is interesting. And then when you get older than that, you have people that are like my parents. Who are ancient. And they don't know how to use anything, so... <laughs> it is very interesting how technology evolves over time. Some people are born into it, the youths of today. Where even still some of it does per perplex them. I know that it's kind of maybe more in, in tune with like older technologies or what confuses kids. I didn't realize they had hair. Anyway. I find that kind of fascinating. And it might, it might, it might be an access thing as well. You know, if you live, oh boy, whoa, I do not like the jump. You might have lived in an area growing up, well, you can jump in midair, that is cool. You might have lived in an area growing up where you didn't have access to technology. Or, you know, computers and stuff like that. So that's understandable, that you wouldn't know how to use the, the tools as easily. That makes sense. I think technology is obviously very important. It's how I make this. It's how I communicate with all of you. It's how we share and learn ideas. But don't get me started on my views on social medias. Which would be a little ironic, considering I'm on one right, oops. I'm on one right now on the YouTubes, sharing this with all of you. It is a social media. There's so many good things that we can do with technology, and then a lot of people just kind of choose to use them for nefarious things, unfortunately. It makes me kind of say it. Because there's people out there, I'm doing really poorly. There are people out there that probably don't have access to good technology. You know, a good robust internet connection, a computer perhaps, a smartphone. Not everybody has that. In this day and age, it's becoming more common, but it's not guaranteed. And it's just, it's just kind of a bummer that we've got so much great information. Now, we're in the age of information. And there's still people out there that abuse and use technology for bad things. Which makes me sad. Don't do that. Don't use technology for bad things. Stop it. Right now. Oof. This is not going swimmingly, although I did get the first noon, so I feel good about that. I'm not a big fan of these girder puzzles. Oh my gosh. Who put this platforming in my Mario game? I don't like it. But yeah, in general, that's how I feel about it. Technology is very interesting. Some people are very good with new stuff. Some people are very good with old stuff. It is also, you know, you'll, you'll find it from both ends of the spectrum. I mean, you'll see those dumb shows that they used to put on YouTube. This is probably like circa like 2010 or something like that. They'd have those dumb reaction shows would be like, oh, let's let's bring some kids on here and show them how to use a rotary phone or some stuff like that. And like they would think that they were being 
really creative with that for some reason by trying to make kids look like they're stupid. Or they'd show a kid that's like, I don't know, 14 or 15 years old, they'd give him like one of the old Game Boys. He'd be like, oh, this isn't an iPhone, look how dumb you are. Like, it goes both ways. I think realistically the only way around it is to just immerse yourself in all kinds of it. Try some new stuff, try some old stuff. Don't be afraid of it, it's not gonna hurt you. I mean, it can hurt, well, I kind of alluded to people using social media to hurt other people, which is pretty uncool, but I think you get the point, is that in general, you know, there's no harm in trying something new. All right, I, yeah, I definitely don't want you for this. Boop. Can I just abandon ship? I, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, some people will use it for messed up stuff, but I trust my viewers wouldn't do that. Nobody that watches D my oh my gosh, I've missed that jump like three times in a row. Nobody that watches D my plays would do something so sinister. But who knows? So that's oh, I just want to get the last gosh dang moon. 1997, the age of some people that I'm talking about. That's not an age. That is a birth year. If you are 1,997 years old, I would love to meet you and know from what uh, fountain of youth you are drinking. Who, what, what blood of infants are you having pumped into your body? I do like the sound he makes. All right, get up there. All right, I'm just gonna slow and steady this one. I don't know if it's like the perspective that's throwing me off or what. Here we go. All right, we're getting close. I'd like you to go away from me. I don't. Oh no, I don't like this. I do not like this. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Whoa. 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 All right. Dunked on you, please. Okay. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. All right. Ooh. Okay. Swinging scaffolding. Put my audio there. Jump. I got a little bit too close to my microphone, got so excited. And I just can't hide. We're doing pretty good though. I think we had nine moons last time, so that means that we have like six or seven today. Yeah, I don't feel bad about any of this, although I still don't know where that dumb Pauline gift is. Something that I read said that it's supposed to be a, b a bag, a bag. She wants a handbag because she's useless. There's a bird. I want him. I want him. I want him real bad, viewers. I'm gonna have to. That's one of the ones that if if I wasn't recording an, a progressive series, that I would just sit here for it, I guess. So I got the one that was hanging out. I don't know if going across this walkway does me anything. There's one over there though. Is there a button for that one too? Oh, that's the guy wire one, like the electricity. Ah, I don't know. Viewers, I don't know. I don't know how to cappy jump to. Ooh, there's a. Uh, here's you can put your nut up here. How are you supposed to get that up there? Can you? Uh, maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm not feeling confident about anything in my life right now. Viewers. All right. The theater's playing one of the all-time greats. Maybe not everybody likes the original Mario, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna remember where that spot is. Oh no. Not to mention the fact that that's not gonna grow in time, so me coming out here was dumb. All right. I don't think I got the Takatu moon. Tell me, brother. Outside the rotating maze? I don't know what that means. We talked to this boy, didn't we? Oh yeah, so we're supposed to be finding... I think there's a couple of the Cap Kingdom dilly-dallies hanging out around. We'd obviously notice, because they have the big eyeballs on their hats. Starting to lose track of what I'm doing. Did I do this one? This was the one that was around the 
The stuff with the things, yes. I don't know if you can tell this viewers, but I don't like the Metro Kingdom at all. This is probably one of my least favorites. I know that it's the big set piece with Pauline and the jazz and the fireworks and the, oh, look at this, but like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't get as much enjoyment from this one. I feel like it's just kind of busy, literally. Huh? Smells like pee. Yeah, I don't know. Where are you? Where are you rascals hiding? I don't know where the the bag is. I need it though to give to Pauline, even though she doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve any kind gestures. That that quiz should have given you at least one moon. The fact that it doesn't is horrific. A crime against humanity, even. Who put scooters on the roof? Alright, I'm gonna look around. I don't even know where it would possibly be. Although I didn't get on the roof roof. Is that where Peach and and, and Ding Dong are? I don't remember. I don't know where anybody is. It's in the very There's a football here too? I win? Nice. Funny though that this is just outside the timing of the superb owl that just happened on Sunday. How did you guys feel about that? Did you enjoy yourselves? Did you make fun of people who didn't like the team you like? Yeah, I was very indifferent to it. Not indifferent to the event, just indifferent to the sportsmen involved. Yeah, I feel like I'm not I'm not super convinced I'm going to make too much more progress here in this episode, just because I don't know where anything is. I nailed the earlier easy moons, and then now I really handicapped myself. Because I don't know where anything else is. Yeah, that one, uh... That one moon... Oh, that really launches you. Wow, look at that. That one moon that was just kind of hanging out in between... The buildings was pretty neat. Ah. What's with the footballs? I don't understand that at all. But there is an unmarked Bowser flag. I'm curious about it. A little bit. You shut your mouth. You shut your mouth, Peach. We already have your moon. I don't need you. Ooh. Can you get it from here? If I line it up just right. Please. Ah, oh, I got the coins. I think that's how you're supposed to get that one. Can it just put me right in this spot, please? This is gonna put me somewhere that I don't want to be. I know it. Viewers, I know it. Uh, where's this? I wanted to be over. The I mean, this isn't horrible, and I can just take this walkway so I can try it again. Again, 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 again. All right. I like that I put on this clown suit and I don't even know who to talk to to maximize why I'm wearing it. This is so dumb. I make these notes for myself and then I just don't really like pay attention to what they mean sometimes. Sometimes it's very useful. A lot of the time it's not. Although I thought I I thought I did a really nice job. I also I guess I didn't get the coins. Because I died. How does that not count? Ooh, I hit that guy right in the head. He should be dead. Alright. That's stupid. And I still hate Pauline. I don't understand how the first two gifts are easy to find. There's the umbrella, there's the hat. And then there's supposed to be a handbag somewhere. Probably people that are screaming at me right now. They're like, it's over here. I don't know where it is. There is nothing. There's no point to this, right? Yeah, there's footballs. And that bird. 
Yeah, I'm just... I'm wasting all kinds of time. It's a very unprepared episode. Viewers, apologize. I think that was the... That was the shadow of the bird. I saw it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm finding that bag. Come on, Parker. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to do that. I feel taunted by the one moon up in the sky, though, that I wasn't able to get. Did I do this? I feel like I did. If I did do it, I'll know right away. The game usually tells me, so if I did do this, it'll tell me. Pretty sure I did this. Let's check it out real quick. I did. Oh, no No more scooter shenanigans. We ain't, we ain't scooting today. Okay. Trying to see if there's anything else of value I can do with what I remember. Probably not. Do this. Yes. Okay. Was there another RC car thing I could do? Can't. There we go. Did I not? I already did it once. How are my kids so good at this? Okay. Is there a second round to do? No. I don't want to do that. Is this a guy? I've already done this. I'm going backwards. I don't want to do this. <laughs> this is just me meandering at this point. I think I've given up all hope that I'm going to be able to accomplish anything else. Boy, I tell you. Yeah, right? I know... Uh, I feel bad because I want to... I just want to rub it in Pauline's face. Because my notes just said hello, hello port pad. Such a trash thing. Definitely said... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look one last time. I want to check... One last time and see if I can maybe, maybe figure it out. Because I'm not, I don't want to give up on this. But also part of me is kind of just like, how much of this do I really care about that I'm willing to sacrifice my time to get Pauline this gift? I don't know. Alright, so we made it to the heliport. Um, I want to say that... I don't see... Uh, okay. <gasps> Wait, viewers. Do you see it? Do you see the bag? This might be it. Should throw it. Alright, we can at least end the video on a high note. Yeah, well... <laughs> shut up, Cappy. Yeah, Pauline, here you go, you ungrateful turd burglar. Yeah. No, we are not friends. She is fishing for compliments. It's probably a knockoff. Don't worry, it's not real. Oh. Yeah, this is the dumbest moon. Yeah, that is, that's horrible, and that's stupid. Alright, I feel good about that. I mean, I didn't do as well as I would have liked to, but I at least, at least was able to do that. So I don't feel completely stupid. Just 99% stupid. Alright, viewers. We're gonna pop back over to the Odyssey. And get the heck out of here. I am done with this kingdom. I have had enough... Of this big city living. I don't need it. Let's deposit our moons. 
Oh yeah, the classic 413. Nice round number. Yeah. That feels good. I'm done. And then next time... We're heading to the Seaside Kingdom. Should be a lot more fun. Nice... Nice R&R &R on the beach in the sun. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. And I'll catch you next time for more. Bye now.